Okay, in this one, we're going to check the flame rod to see if it's working properly, and we're going to uh, check the integrated furnace control to be sure that it shuts the unit off when there is a lack of flame sensing. Now here I'm set up to check microamps. I've got my meter here. It's set in the microamps position and I'm going to have to pull the wire off the flame rod right here. Okay, now what I've done, I've taken the flame rod wire off here and I've taken my meter and put it in series with the flame rod. I'm going to start it up and when the burner comes on it's going to tell me what the flame rod reading is. Okay, it looks like we're settling at about Two point eight, two point nine. Most of these will prove flame at at 0.5 microamps. So this one's well within the reading. Now, what I like to do, I always clean the flame rod when I do a service. I like to check the flame rod condition before I clean it. There's your main fan coming on. If I do that, then. I know whether cleaning it did any good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect here. Now the flame goes out as it should. And now what I'm doing right now is I'm testing the safeties in this furnace. Because the flame rod, when I took the wire off, could no longer read the flame sense. So the furnace sensed that, and it shut down. Now what it's going to do, it's going to cycle off the fan, and then the inducer is going to come back on, it's going to try again. Here we go. Just try it again. Okay, shut off because it didn't read any flame. Because I've still got this wire disconnected. Okay. Now it's doing a post purge and it's going to do a pre purge. That's what that's called uh, to be sure it clears out any unburned fuel. And after it's timed out, it's going to go ahead and try again. And note I have. Uh edited this for time so your time period is going to be a little longer here. Hot service igniter is back on. Okay, safety dot again. Now these things usually have a four to seven second trial for ignition, meaning that burner will come on and burn, and if it does not see uh, a uh, signal from the flame rod, it's going to shut it off. It's in what we call right now soft lockout, because it's going to try again. Let's see if it'll try one more time. Okay, it looks like the hot surface igniter's coming on again. Again, no flame sense. Okay, shuts down. Post purge now, and let's see if it tries again. Okay, the fan's gone off, the inducer's not trying anymore, it's gone into hard lockout. So you've proven that the uh, flame safety control, which is we call it an IFC board, uh, that's down in the blower housing, I'll show you that in a little bit. 
that it does safety it out. Now, usually if these things do this, they'll wait about an hour and then they'll, then they'll try three times again. And then uh, if it still doesn't uh, come on, then it'll shut down into hard lockout and then try an hour later again. So, we know that safety works. Okay, you notice down here, our status light, which is on the board, is flashing a single flash. That's, uh, it means it's safety out for flame failure. Okay, this is a flame rod here. Uh, pull it out, sand it off with a light sandpaper. Uh, some people say you can't use anything but steel wool. Uh, I don't much care. I've actually just even taken uh, the shank of a screwdriver and scratched across them and it's cleaned them up pretty good. As long as they can read the signal. This is not a heat operated thing. It's actually an electrical signal that operates this thing. So clean it up, put it back in, and remount it. And in the next video we're going to look at the pressure switch and the inducer and check the controls there.